of the basic definitions, let's take water. Now, of course, water can act as both an acid and a base, a proton donor and a proton acceptor. And here's an equation that we can use to show that. Quite often, what you will find is that we can um, simplify this to this equilibrium like that. Now, the concentration of water is 55.555 molar recurring. And what we'll find is that the position of this equilibrium is well over to the left-hand side. So therefore, the concentration of water remains essentially constant. So when we define Kw, we can ignore the concentration of water, or at least uh, put it as a constant, and we get a Kw expression, where Kw is equal to the product of the concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, and equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14, at least, at 298 Kelvin. So this is sometimes known as the ionic product of water, or the dissociation constant for water, or just Kw. It's constant at constant temperature. But of course, if you change the temperature, the value of Kw will increase or decrease. Have a think about how it might change with changing temperature. Another definition of pH, you should know this by now, pH is equal to the negative log of concentration of hydrogen ions. Get a feel for it. So for example, know that a 0.1 molar solution uh, of a strong acid such as HCl will have a pH of 1. A 0 0.01 molar solution of hydrochloric acid, that is 1 times 10 to the minus 2, will have a pH of 2. And of course a 1 molar solution of a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid will have a pH of 0. So you can have negative pH values where the concentration of the hydrogen ions is greater than 1. Note also that you've got to take care with diprotic acids. H2SO4, for example, that's going to have twice as many hydrogen ions as the same concentration of hydrochloric acid. So a point 0.1 molar solution of hydrochloric acid will have 0.1 molar solution uh, concentration of hydrogen ions, but a 0.1 molar solution of sulfuric acid will have 0.2 molar hydrogen ions. And notice that a tenfold increase in concentration of hydrogen ions causes a decrease in the pH of 1. Don't forget also to remember to quote your pH values to two decimal places. So I've got a little bit ahead of myself because, of course, we can talk about strong acids having complete dissociation. And therefore, under these conditions, what we find is that if we have a 0.1 molar solution of HX, then the concentration of the hydrogen ions is the same as that. In other words, we get complete dissociation. We have no uh, molecular HX remaining in solution.